Now I've installed PyEnv, let me show you how to use the virtual environment plugin to manage your dependencies, both your dependencies on Python itself, but also on dependencies that you might install through pip. Here I am in my terminal and I've created two folders and inside each folder is a very simple Hello World web application. In the environment at the top here, I'm going to use Python 2 and at the bottom, I'm going to use Python 3. And virtual environments help me to isolate all the dependencies used by these projects. Let's go ahead and create a virtual environment with pyenv. So I do pyenv virtual env and I tell it the version of Python that I want to use for this environment and I give it a name. So I'm going to give it a name that's similar to the project. I'm going to call it Pi2. Okay, I've done that. And now if I activate it with pyenv local and the name of the virtual environment, then you can see that even my prompt changes to tell me that I'm in the Python 2 virtual environment that I've created. And if I ask Python, which version are you? It tells me it's Python 2.7.18. Perfect. So now let's install some dependencies. I have a list already, so I'm going to use pip install minus r requirements. And that's going to add Flask and Goonicorn for me. So if I do pip list, here I can see I have Goonicorn 1910. That's the last version of Goonicorn before they switch to Python 3 only. So let's try and run that now. So if I do Goonicorn and then web app, this will run my application. And I'll test it now in the other window here. So HTTP 8000. And I get Hello World and the server is Goonicorn 1910. Exactly what I expected. OK. If I switch now to my Python 3 folder, again, I'm going to create a virtual environment for this project. So I am virtual env. I give it a Python version number 3.8.5 which of course I've installed through pyenv install and I give it a virtual environment name py3 will do for this project. There we go and now I activate it with pyenv local uh, the name of the virtual environment, Pi3, and again, prompt changes to show me that I'm now in the Python 3 virtual environment. If I do Python minus V, confirms I'm on Python 3.8.5. So now again, let's go and install some dependencies. So pip install, our requirements, there we go. And I've got, I've got the same basic requirements, uh, Flask and Goonicon, but if I do a pip list here in this folder, then the answer that I get back is that I'm on Goonicon 20.04. So version 20 was when Goonicon moved to Python 3. Let's test this. So if I do Goonicon web app, and there we are, it's running. And if I do HTTP, 8000 in the other window, I get hello world and I'm on Goonicorn 20.04. So that's brilliant. As one last thing, let's just have a look at which virtual environments pyenv now knows about. So pyenv virtual envs. And there we go. It says you have uh, these virtual environments that have been created based on these versions of Python. And currently I am in the folder for Python 2. If I move outside of this folder, 
then I default back to the system version of Python because that's what's currently active. There it is, 3.8.2. So that's fantastic. 